Hey guys, so I got a new room and it's set up a little bit weird with this wall of closets right here, but it'll do till I move out with my wife later. Uh, but I wanted to talk about today something I learned at the Ed Center last week um, that would have saved me $1,200. So stay tuned if you would also like to learn how to save $1,200 during basic and uh, I'll let you know. So if you've been talking to your recruiter longer than five seconds, you know that the Army has education benefits. One of the many benefits the Army does give you as a soldier. And there are two kinds of bills. We have the GI Montgomery Bill, and we have the post 9-11 GI Bill. The GI Montgomery Bill, of course, was passed during World War II as a benefit to the, all the returning soldiers from the war. And the post 9-11 Bill was passed in 2008, came into effect 2009, and was just kind of an updated bill um, covering all the flaws of the GM Montgomery bill. There are a few differences though between these two bills. Let's go over them real quick. Um, the biggest one is probably the money paid to you, the amount of money paid to you. So as you can see here, the GM Montgomery bill is a total of $66,000. That's what the current rate is. So if you earn the GM Montgomery bill, you will get $66,000 to spend on school, which is a lot. However, the post 9-11 bill, you get 36 months worth of payment, and that includes housing, books, and tuition. So it's not a set number, it's whatever it costs you. So let's say you went to Weber State, which is in Utah. Uh, your tuition there is gonna be $5,000 a year, and then your rent's gonna be 700 maybe. So your GI bill, your, if it was a post 9-11 bill, it'd only be worth $40,000. If it was the Montgomery GI bill, it was worth $66,000. But let's say you're a smart cookie and you get into Columbia University. Well, all of a sudden your tuition is $57,000 a year. Your cost of living is $3,000 a month because New York City. Your post 9-11 bill is worth $280,000. Whereas your GM Montgomery bill is only worth six. dollars So in that respect, the two bills are very different. You know, one bill is just here's a flat rate per month based on the average school and housing cost. And the other one is, hey... You know what, you choose where you want to go, and we'll pay you accordingly. So to get the GM Montgomery bill, you have to have an honorable discharge, a full honorable discharge, which means either you served your entire contract or you were, you know, discharged early for some reason, but you still have a full honorable discharge. And if your contract's under three years, then you have to serve at least two years, but otherwise you have to serve at least three years of active service to get the Montgomery bill. And then you also have to pay that $100 a month for 12 months. So that's where the $1,200 left my paycheck. I'll be paying that, you know, for the remainder of the 12 months, every month $100 from my check. So that's a little bit uh, sucky there. So it's a little bit different for the post 9-11 bill. You still have to have an honorable discharge. Um, you know, it's a full honorable discharge, nothing less than that. But after 90 days, you can start earning up to 40% of the benefits. And it goes up from there until you reach 36 months at which point you get 100% of the benefits for the post 9-11 bill. And unlike the Montgomery bill, there's zero dollars invested, so nothing about your paycheck. It's, for us, $1,200 cheaper. We don't have to invest anything. There is one more big difference though between the two bills. The GM Montgomery bill is for you as a soldier, so you can use it, that's what it's for, to study. But the post 9-11 bill is transferable, meaning after 10 years of service, I could transfer it to any of my dependents, or you could transfer it to any of your dependents, and that's pretty cool. So your your kids could go study on your you know post 9/11 bill. But here's the thing: when you're in basic, they don't tell you these things; they just sign you up for stuff. So I'm sitting there in basic, right? And they come up to me, you know, and they ask me, "Hey there, young man, do you want the education benefits?" And of course, I'm like, I mean. Yeah, who doesn't, right? Okay, sure. Well, that's gonna cost you a hundred bucks a month for the next 12 months. And I'm sitting there like, I mean, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's for my future, right? So I guess I don't have a choice. But you know something? I did have a choice. Because what they didn't tell me is that you don't have to sign up for the John Montgomery bill. You can say, no, thanks, I'm good. I wanna go for the post 9-11 bill. I don't want the John Montgomery bill. And then they don't take the money out of your paycheck because really 1200 bucks is kind of a lot of money, you know? That's like three Nintendo Switches or a nice skiing pass. I guess what I'm saying is if you're just gonna go for the post 9-11 bill anyway, I don't know why you wanna pay an extra 1200 bucks just to not 
get the GM Montgomery bill. You know, like if you're gonna go for the post 9-11 bill, just go for the post 9-11 bill. Don't pay the government up to 1200 bucks just because. Because you don't have to. You don't have to pay 1200 bucks. So, you know, just some advice from me. Um, if you're gonna go for the post 9-11 bill, reject the GM Montgomery bill. If you're not sure, you know, I would definitely look into the two. I mean, you can get booklets describing both and, you know, you might want to do some research first because once you reject the GM Montgomery bill, you can't get it back. You just have to wait for post 9-11. Um, but in my opinion, I think post 9-11 works better for everybody anyway. So, you know, and if you're reserve or National Guard, I honestly don't know too much about how it works because, you know, getting your active service is different. So I would look into it more as well. But that was just my experience with the GM Montgomery bill so far and basic training. Uh, you know, I have lost $1,200 essentially, you know, tough luck. But hopefully you can save yourself the hassle and the money and get what's right for you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe to the channel so you can see all my future videos I put up. And I try to put up more videos now that I'm out of phase four and am able to use a computer. Especially once I move into the new house, I should have a lot more time to edit. Uh, but please also tell me what you want to see. You know, I'm not able to answer everything because I don't know everything. But also, you know, I'm not allowed to talk about certain things. But please let me know what you'd like to see and I'll try to make a video about that topic for you. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.